alliance of um, institutes of Confucius Institutes of Chinese Medicine, um, and as part of our um, collaborative activities, we've established this uh, joint seminar, um, which we record and we um, <coughs> it's available on YouTube for for people who want to um, listen into the presentations. And today we have two speakers, so I'd like to thank, in addition to all of you for attending, I'd like to thank both of them for their presentations. Uh, the first speaker is Professor Andy Zhang, who's at the Confucius Institute for Chinese Medicine in the Federal University of Goiás in Brazil. <clears throat> and he's going to talk on a systematic review on the effectiveness of embedding cat gut therapy for simple obesity. Professor Zhang is Associate Professor at the College of Acupuncture and Massage at Hebei University of Chinese Medicine. Um, He's currently teaching Introduction to Traditional Chinese Medicine and Acupuncture courses at the Confucius Institute of Chinese Medicine um, at the Federal University of Goiás in Brazil. Um, he won a teacher group of Chinese acupuncture and massage clinical skills competition in 2018, and he's published more than 40 papers um, in the area of acupuncture. He participated in two national uh, natural science foundation projects and excited over five provincial projects uh, and he mainly engages in the study of basic and clinical acupuncture and he's a specialist in acupuncture in the treatment of pain facial paralysis andrology gynecology and other diseases so um, so we look forward to andy's presentation this morning and thank him again for um, uh, agreeing uh, to participate in this Global Alliance uh, seminar. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Professor. Bit of an echo there, Andy. Um, and you're on mute now at the moment. Uh, so much going on. Okay. Andy, is there anybody else in in your room who has a who has a this site open? Sometimes that causes an echo. Okay. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Again, there's a major echo problem. Good evening, everyone. Um, <clears throat> today, uh, the topic of my report is uh, um, systematic. Uh, revenue on the effectiveness of the embedding cut gut therapy for simple obesity. Okay, mm, we will introduce the mm, con content, contents. Uh, part one, mm, back background. Uh, part two, methods. Part three, results. Part four, conclusion. Part five, mm, practice sure. Okay, uh, let's we uh, number one, background. Uh, along with the improvement of people's living standard, simple obesity becomes a common, common uh, disease in Chinese society. It refers to the over intake of energy and this uh, consumption of the human body. The disease uh, will be characterized uh, as obesity. The opponent cut gut embedding therapy or ACET uh, is an uh, improvement and extension of acupuncture. In recent years, the therapy is commonly used in China uh, for the treatment of the simple obesity. Uh, That's where number two methods. Uh, computer retrieval was used for 
grand method uh, controlled trials on the treatment effects of simple obesity with ACET in databases uh, of, the chain of the CNKI, one bound data system, and the channel of biology medicine disk. The judged quiet scale was used in the uh, evaluation of the included studies. The outcome in detectors and were unless uh, measured with the reveal managed 5.1 software. Uh, we are the results uh, number three is uh, computer retrieval, uh, retrieval a total of the 16 randomized controlled trials were including failing. Uh, this is the um, this is the meta analysis, uh, meta analysis uh, where the, the title is uh, 16 that. Oh, okay, the next number four conclusion. Uh, this is, uh, is the definite uh, efficiency of using ACET in treatment of the simple obesity. However, the clinical is. Uh, efficiency still lacks of the su sufficient evidences. Therefore, uh, further clin clinical research should be con conducted in the pro providing of the reliable evidences in the clinical decision or making in the future. Uh, uh, <clears throat> number five. Practice show this is a patient uh, in my clinical. Uh, the patient, patient is simple obesity. The patient is uh, mm, before treatment, after treatment, uh, the one month of the treatment. We choose the accounts. Accounts uh, we used in the treatment. Tianshu, uh, Tianshu, and Zhongwan. Uh, this accounts we use the embedding needle in season set. Uh, in season set. Okay. We we use the uh, disinfectant. Uh, 75 uh, percent alcohol or uh, iodine fat. Uh, cotton boots, uh, swabs, swabs, uh, gauze, uh, gauze. Uh, this is uh, the um, cut guard embedding needle. Uh, this is the needle, uh, the including two parts. Uh, this, uh, this, uh, the needle core, the needle tube, uh, needle tube, uh, two parts, uh, two parts. This is the, the third. Third, okay. Mm. Uh, operation of the cardiac embedding needle. Uh, stop, stop one. Uh, screen disinfection. Uh, disinfection. Uh, stop two. Take a one to two centimeter long vegetable protein third. Place it at the front or end of the puncture needle. And then uh, connect the needle core, uh, needle core. The step three, uh, tighten or pinch the skin of the needle in each side with the thumb and index finger of the left hand. Hold the needle with the right hand and pierce to the desert uh, depths. Uh, step four. We, uh, when this is the when this is a needle feeding, pushing the needle core, uh, pushing the needle core, uh, withdraw the needle tool and implant the thread body, uh, thread body. Okay, we can the uh, radio. Oh, we take uh, take a uh, uh, one to two centimeter uh, the thread.
we choose the one to two centimeter long vegetable protein thread. Uh, protein thread. Okay. This is the, uh, the needle. This is the needle, uh, needle core, uh, needle core. This is needle, uh, needle tube. Piece it the piece the uh, thread at the front of end of the puncture needle. Uh, puncture needle. Next. Skin disinfection. We choose the two fingers. Uh, we uh, usually we uh, use the uh, index finger and uh, middle finger two fingers, or the um, thumb and index finger, uh, and so on. Huh? Pinch, uh, pinch and uh, tighten or pinch the skin. Hold the needle uh, with the right, with, with the right, Right, that, right hand, huh? with the right hand. When this is a needle feeling, huh? when this is a needle feeling, you can, uh, the feeling, uh, we pushing the, uh, pushing the uh, needle core, pushing the needle core, withdraw the needle turbo, turbo, uh, Oh, uh, implant uh, the thread body. Uh. Filling which uh, use the uh, skin uh, uh, disinfection. Uh, use the force. Okay. This is uh, this is the uh, survey as uh, uh, The ACET uh, um, advantage advantage the um, the plant protein thread thread that uh, softens uh, the step one softens. Uh, in the body softens and decomposes. Decomposes and next it liquefies. And the body is uh, absorbs. Uh, absorbs. So you four step, uh, four step. Uh, the first uh, softens. Uh, they 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 composes and liquefies and absorbs the physiological and biochemical stimuli to a point for twenty days or more in the body, thus making up for the shortcoming coming comings of short acupuncture time and difficult to consolidate the culture effect, which is the in line with the fast and the efficient modern people, the theorem of life. Okay, this is my report is end. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, um, Andy. That was, that was very interesting. Um, 
can you can you show us the slide on the meta analysis again? You know, you you had a meta analysis slide with about sixteen studies. Oh, okay, okay, professor. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, we can. Okay. Yeah, okay. that, that one, I, yeah, that, that one. So um, how would you interpret that? It looks like um, favors, it, does it actually favor the control treatment then? Or what's the efficacy based on this meta-analysis? Is it efficient? Is it effective? You're on mute, Andy. So you're so you're still on mute. I was being against server that I'm no fair. I'm just asking for how would you interpret that slide? It looks to me that a lot of the studies are on the right hand side of the of the vertical line, and I think that that favor what does it, does that favor the treatment or does it favor the control? Uh, Eddie, when when you make a take a meta analysis of the take a year ago, uh, and do a take a year ago, those call you being the number, uh, to make a year to take a year ago, see, to see, to get to get to the uh, you shall not have is uh, do it all, uh, to go to go, see, to see, has a we shall the. Or maybe it favors the cat cut. I, I can't read at the bottom, it's a bit uh, blurred. You know, Shato Nick X is old, uh, come the Putai Chinto, so you put it out to the gate. Take a take a one don't that was in Chinto, take a Tanaga Shad, that one that was in Chinto. Mm, just to make to make Wu of the paper, yeah. Thank you. And being what do you know is is the is the diamond is it favoring treatment or face? Uh, I would think so, but um, maybe uh, the resolution is not very high uh, from uh, this publication and copied uh, onto the slide. And the uh, Andy was circulated the original publication, and we can take a, a look from there. Hmm. And. Andy, uh, can I ask, um, is this commonly used in China? And is has this been around for a long time, this cat gut insertion? Is this a treatment used commonly in China for obesity? Simple obesity. 
呃 ，simple 不是，在中国这种治疗方法有多普遍呢？呃，基本上在针灸科都会有，就针灸科基本上都会有这种方法。但目前的话，它这个方法也存在一个，就是我刚才讲这个地方，它也存在一定的这个充分的证据，就是。嗯，就是它是有效是肯定的，但是在这个有效性方面，临床上它对比性不是特别强。嗯，针对性不是特别强，你是说？对对对，因为它没有进行大量的这种临床的这种对照的实验，就是很多都是经验的这种比较多。对呀，就这种。嗯。So so and the um、uh, again and team up probably it's it's a common and the、uh, Chinese medical practice. We don't have sufficient control to conclude, but it's widely、uh, used clinically in China for obesity. Okay. All right.、Um, any other questions、uh, from anybody online?、Um, I see there's some comments in the chat. So Benjamin、um, points out that this method was used in treating asthma. In the 1980s,、um, but he doesn't know if it still is or what the efficacy of this was.、Um, and then Iris points out that some of Chinese acupuncture clinic in South Africa is also doing this treatment,、uh, which is interesting. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I've no expertise, no background really in acupuncture, but I wasn't aware that there was a method. That would place the cat gut under the skin and leave it there to dissolve and、um, have its effect over over time. Can I ask a question? Yes, Gongming. Yeah. Yes, I,、uh, Professor Zhang, Andy Zhang,、uh, I want to know、uh, how long does one treatment last? For example, if the treatment treat period is one month. How often will the patient go to the hospital to get the treatment? One,、uh, twenty days. Ah,、uh, twenty、okay. days or CT, 就是就是二十到三十天。嗯 ，twenty to thirty days. 嗯 ，for for the examples you、uh, you illustrated in your PPT, the patient who got one month treatment, she can get only one treatment. For her period, right? Hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's all. Thank you. Ah,、uh, this 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 picture as、uh, one mouse. Hmm. Ah,、uh, one mouse. So he he only got one treatment once, right? Or twice? Do you want to ask it in Chinese, Guang Ming, and you can、um, maybe? <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. I okay. will. 嗯，就是这个病人，他是呃一个月的那个治疗期，那么他需要接受几次治疗？两次，两次啊。两次，对。Thank you. Two two times. Yes. Three, two times. Chinese is great team. Yes, I、uh, yeah, yeah. But in, <laughs> in 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 two different there in two different areas or in the same area. Ah, because this place is is the the sequence. Ah, it's in the the yeah, continuous continuous as you uh the the body ah the body ah um. Uh, team 呃 ，Tim 院长是问他是在同样的区域去做那个埋线，还是换不同的区域去埋线这样子？呃，换不同的，因为第一次买了之后，他可能第二次他那个地方有还有刺激性，我们就可以换一个换一组穴位再来刺激他。Uh, 嗯 ，different areas。嗯，哎，对 ，different a p p o n t acupoint。acupoint。Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Is this is this this um cat gut? Is it a very ancient treatment? Or a more modern treatment. 现代的还是古代就有的这种治疗方法。呃、uh, ，现代的，现代的。啊、uh, ，it's modern,、mm. modern used. Good.、Mm. Accepted by modern peoples. By you. Yeah. 现在就是一个中西结合的，中医 traditional and the modern and the 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 这种结合在一起的。嗯、mm. oh,。Oh yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Guang Ming, can you ask the question? There's a question in the chat. How many acupuncture points? 
would you insert the cat gut into in one treatment? I think it's just one point, is it? One treatment? Yeah, there, there's a question in the chat. If you look in the chat, how, uh -huh. many, how many acupuncture points would mm -hmm. you insert the cat gut into yep. in one treatment? Or so would you only select? Or would you only select one pair of acupoints at a time? Eight points at one time. One time. <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音> 因为可能它的有的吸收的快，这吸收的慢，这样的话可能就会呃稍微有点区别，这个嗯。那么一个月里面就有十六个点了，对，是吧？对对对，一个月至少十六个点。哦，OK。嗯，谢谢哈，这个
three days, we change every three days. If you're using a sensor, yes. it's there for 14 days and it's changed yes. every 14 days. So there are things that That's we leave indeed. in the subcutaneous space. Yes, indeed. But uh, if I may uh, say, um, you would be considered a health professional in terms yes. of government regulation, mm. whereas CAM practitioners, acupuncturists mm. within most of the European countries are not yet categorized as health professionals. Mm. They're within the CAM sector, which is a sort of a sideways sector. So. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's another, are there contraindications to this, Andy? Uh, question on the chat. Are there contraindications? And if you can. Uh 小孩的话，十岁以下，还有年龄七十岁以上的不能用。嗯，六十岁以上吧，一般我们很少在六十岁以上做。杨院长，能不能解释一下？我是这个非医学人士。Anybody want to? Gong Ming, you're on mute. Gong Ming, you're on mute. Ah, ah, okay. And so the counter, counter diction. Contraindications, yes. Yeah, uh, contraindications. Where, uh, situations where you would not be able to use uh, it. Yeah, contraindicate. Indi <laughs> Sorry. Yes, it's a long word. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this method was not used for children and uh, elder people and pregnant women. And uh, for those who have skin diseases and uh, hemorrhage. Uh, hemor Hemorrhagic, hemorrhagic diseases are not used. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder um, patients who are on aspirin or Plavix, you know, for coronary stents with it. Okay, so they're kind of blood thinning medicines. Maybe they wouldn't be suitable either. Um, but I, 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 Andy, thank you for the presentation. I, I run thank an you, everyone. Mm, yeah, thank you, I, uh, thank you professor. Oh. I run an obesity clinic here in, in Galway and using Western methods, we use a lot of surgery, a lot of gastric bypass surgery and gastric sleeve resections. So I hadn't heard of this uh, approach before. So I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to read about it. And I look forward to seeing the paper, the publication, the meta-analysis that you presented. Um, it's very, very interesting. So thank you. Thank you very much. And, uh, and uh, we will also look forward to uh, seeing you and uh, face to face, maybe if we come to Hebei, Sijiazhuang next time. Mm. Yeah. Welcome. Uh, I, I, I still have one question. Sorry. Uh, yeah. uh, for the diabetes people who are always very fat, uh, obesity. So, can is this method be used in diabetes patients? <laughs> that's the, mm -hmm. the team. That's, a, that's an excellent question, yeah. Mm -hmm. Andy, can you use it in obese diabetic patients? Uh, Tanya病人一般都很肥胖,这个方法能不能用在糖尿病人身上? Uh, Oh, oh, <laughs> uh, the diabetes uh, for diabetes patients, uh, this thread is not so so easy to absorb. So when it's uh, liquid liquidized, uh, it's it, it tend to be uh, non Uh, it tend to be, uh, yeah. When, when the healing can be a problem for diabetes, so it's yeah. not uh, used and to cure diabetic and obesity people. Okay. Uh, it's also not used in diabetes. All right. Okay, so we move on to the next presenter, uh, Bei Shenghua. Um, 
who's working at the tr traditional Chinese medicine Confucius classroom in the Slovak Medical University. Uh, she's going to talk on ear acupoint research. And Dr. Uh, Bei Shenghua is a lecturer at the College of Acupuncture and Massage in Liaoning, University of Traditional Chinese Medicine in China, who is currently teaching at the Confucius Classroom of Traditional Chinese Medicine in the Slovak Medical University. Her main work is to teach modules on meridians and acupoints, acupuncture and moxibustion, and the reading of ancient classical medical books related to acupuncture and moxibustion. She has worked at Liaoning University for 13 years and received her Doctor of Medicine in 2019. Professor Zhenghua mainly engages in the study of the mechanisms of acupuncture. So thank you very much and uh, we look forward to the presentation. Mm, thanks. Uh, thanks to the seminar, I could have an opportunity uh, to communicate with uh, all the colleagues in this sem seminar. It's my first time <laughs> to be here. And uh, in today's speech, I will talk about auricular needling technique and uh, treatment. Okay, in this speech, I will talk about six parts of auricular therapy. First, history of auricular uh, therapy, then auricular zone system, auricular diagnosis procedure, auricular acupressure, ear massage, and the transcutaneous auricular vigorous nerve stimulation. First, is the history of auricular therapy. Um, in the left, there is a picture that it shows brick caving, a brick caving picture from Chinese Han Dynasty showing bian chue, manual plating needles. So I have a question, is this auricular acupuncture? And you can see um, um, the brick caving. And on the right side, there is a picture too. It shows in Chinese Qing Dynasty, a doctor, a traditional Chinese doctor, his name is Zhang Zhengjun, marked some acupoints related to the internal organs, showing a correlation between regional part and the whole body. And here, on the right side, there is a picture show that in the 12th century, this is an illustration of Persian surgery, show the doctor treating a patient with auricular warm moxibustion. Such is the case in Portugal in 16th and 17th centuries. And here is the big progress period. France, a uh, French doctor, Nogier, published, published his auricular inverted, inverted fatter finger, representing different parts of the body on the first acupuncture day of French Massis in February 1956, which causes an apparel in medical community and the greatly promoted the development of ear acupuncture therapy. He theorized that different parts of the ear could treat different parts of the body. From holographic theory, the ear is holographic element. The color and the shape of the auricle can reflect the pathological changes of the whole body. Stimulating the air point can regulate the yin and yang of the visceral to tree diseases. Here is the neurophysiological perspective 
of auricular therapy. And previous research researchers noticed that different parts of the ear is inverted by different spinal or cerebral nerves. Interestingly, the ear area represent somatic parts are innervated by somatic afferents, and those represent visceral organs are innervated by cerebral nerves containing vigor, vigorous afferents as superior and inferior conquer. The vigorous afferents fibers are projected into the hyperthalamus, amygdala, and forebrain through the nucleus of transcurs solitary, NTS, and into other cortical regions through the medulla reticular structure so as to innervate visceral organs. And this is the second part of my speech, auricular zone system. LO, L, the position here, corresponds to head and facial disease. SF here, correspondent to upper limb disease. HX here, correspondence to the trauma disease and the AH here and here, corresponds to lower limb disease and the SC in this region, correspond to lower limb disease and the SC uh, here. I see correspond to thorax disease here. Okay. So how to diagnose? Auricular has a special diagnose procedures. It basically have three parts. First is the visual over observation of skin surface changes on the ear. We can see the dark color spot, spots and the white flaky skin and the physical texture and the skin protrusions or ear lobe crease here. The second part is electrical detection of ear re reflex points. Slowly glide the air probe across all regions of auricle to determine localized areas of increased skin conductance or decreased skin resistance. And the most commonly used is the tactile palpation of auricular tenderness. The most readily available technique for determining the reactivity of auricular reflex points is to apply localized pressure to specific areas of the auricle. Here is the, for, uh, the first part, auricle, auricular acupressure, auricular acupressure. First, small magnet or small herpes. The preparation we need ear acubis. Small magnet of small herpes can be placed on specific ear point and then held uh, there by small adhesive pads. Also, I call 75% for sepsis and the disinfections. Operation process, clean air with alcohol, auricular diagnosis, select the most reactive points, and the auricular power lead. A cubis can be placed on specific air point. Treatment duration. Um, this acubis not be left on auricular for longer than one week and uh, periodically pressed three times a day for three to five minutes. 
And here is the advantage. The air seeds can be as effective as needles, less painful and have less chances of leading to infection. Even after needle insertion treatment, air acubes are left in place in order to sustain the benefit of auricular acupuncture. And this method is press needles and ear tax operation. Clean air with echo, press needles and ear tax. These are small semi-permanent needles or in the welding uh, think tanks that are inserted into the air to be left in place for several days. Treatment duration no longer than one week and periodically press three times a day for three to five minutes. Advantage, these types of needles provide stronger stimulation than the small magnet or small herb seeds. And uh, this is air bleeding. Air bleeding preparation would be serene needles, blood taking needles, iso alcohol 75%, cotton balls, perceptes, disinfections. <clears throat> Operation misers, clean air with echo, the error of air bleeding. Basically, we will choose air tip. Perseteal can knead the air gently. Air is clapped by the left thumb and index finger and rapid, rapid puncture at acupoints about one to two millimeters in your right hand with needle. Squeeze acupoints with both hands. Adaptive disease will be hypertension, fever, heliosis, etc. And then the air massage. Air massage is very uh, com comfortable. Operation methods. General tactile massage. First, stroke down the triggers with thumbs and then spread the stroke across the air lobe to induce adrenaline calm effects. Next, stroke external air from the beginning of the helix root at Lamar zero. Then rise up around the curving helix from here and then <clears throat> around the curling helix. Ending at the base of a helix tail. And with gentle stroke throughout superior conquer, 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 conquer rage and the inferior conquers. Treatment duration, massage each tender ear point for one to two minutes, repeating the process once or twice daily. And then I want to uh, introduce transcutaneous auricular rigorous nerve stimulation. And right now uh, in clinic, uh, this vehicle is applied in the clinical research based on the theory that distribution of vagus nerve exists in conquer region corresponding to visceral organs, we choose transcutaneous auricular vagus nerve, nerve stimulation as an intervention to treatment of diseases. For example, this is a research that transcutaneous vigorous nerve stimulation for the treatment of insomnia disorder. Wait a minute. According to the results of curative effect, the patient's sleep condition is improved. And here is another research. This is a case report. This article reports the first case of patient who are in the uh, vegetative state treated with TAVNS, that is uh, trans transcutaneous auricular vigorous nerve stimulation in the world. 
after the treatment, the patients were diagnosed as changing from vegetative states to macroconscious states, MCS. FMRI results indicate that telomeres, uh, telomeres posterior cingulate precuneus, dorsal media hyperthalamic nucleus, and other areas of patients were significantly activated by TAVNS. And we have applied to TAVNS to mental nerve system disease, such as um, depression, disturbance of consciousness, insomnia, cardiovascular system disease, such as hypertension, and endocrine system diseases, such as impaired glucose tolerance and diabetes, and achieve good results. And here is a tips, strict disinfection to uh, prevent infection. And uh, emotion sickness can also occur with auricular acupuncture. Should pay attention to uh, prevention and time treatment. Timely treatment. During auricular acupuncture, sticking and needle embedding in the welding, it is necessary to prevent the uh, occurrence of tape of or allergy. When auricular bleeding, the doctor should avoid contact with patient's blood. Ear needles should, be, uh, should not be used during pregnancies. Patients with uh, coagulation disorder are forbidden to use auricular white bleeding lighting. Um, at the last, I will show uh, you that the clinical application of auricular therapy, uh, the, the top 10. Uh, uh, oh no. Um, oh, I have no time to show you the other pictures, but I can show you that it mostly applied in a clinic high blood pressure, insomnia, obesity, functional dyspepsia, menstrual uh, irregularities, addictions, diabetes, depression, neck stiffness. And uh, that will be the end of my speech. Uh, because of the time, I will introduce it here. I thank you for your listening. Thank you very much. It's uh, very interesting and again, uh, an area that I wasn't familiar with. So thank you for sharing that with us. Thank um, you. Yeah. Can, can I just ask a first question and then I'll open it to, to the others. Um, if you're treating high blood pressure or obesity or diabetes, which are chronic diseases, how often and for how long do you need to do the therapy? Uh, sorry. And just say for a condition like high blood pressure, how often do you need to do the treatment, the auricular therapy? How often and for how long? Is it for the patient's life or for a shorter period of time? Uh, I'm sorry that I have not uh, uh, have the uh, experience of uh, uh, to practice the high blood pressure in the clinic because basically I'm uh, beginning with the research in recent years. Um, my uh, concentration is here. I will show you uh, in this picture because 
we use a, 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 a auricular therapies for patients and how to choose the IQ points on the ear. And someone use the visual observation, electrical detection, and tactile pumpation. And maybe interested in how, how can we uh, tactile pumpation of auricular tenderness? Because a lot of doctors report that uh, he or she have the effect uh, uh, is have the curative effects in clinical uh, research, but I just wonder because they set up their research on their one experience. So if I use uh, the technique of the re, uh, for example the press pressure to specific air area that he, the the patient will will feel that a pain for a pain for then he will uh, decide to use these IQ points right but I wonder how much pressure how much pressure is the standard even what I'm sorry I have to explain in the Chinese a little bit 因为我们在用的时候都凭借着自己的经验但是你用多大的力去按 你认为它是一个阳性反应, that all based on their, their one experience. So basically in the recent years, I'm a, uh, my uh, class, I and my uh, colleague, my colleague and I have researched on every region, the basic pressure level, the uh, pain threshold of the ear from different parts is my research concern. Okay. Um, any other questions from others? Yeah. Can I ask one question? Yeah, go on. Yeah, go on. Uh, 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 in Chinese. <laughs> Uh那那我先用先用中文吧,就是好像上個世紀80年代,嗯這個耳耳穴治療這個my uh, what I uh, is, uh, present in my PPT is the mostly used uh, that I can search on the net. For example, PubMed or our CNKI, the top used uh, ones. Uh, in my opinion, uh, the most common used is the um, 不是近视,不是近视,最常用的有几个点, uh, for example, uh, the disorder of mental disease, and uh, menstrual irregularities, and uh, the addictions, the most used around the world. Yes, we have in China, a lot of children have problem of eyesight, right? Uh, I don't know how to say jin shi in, in English, but I said we, we have problem with this. A lot of practice, but no clinical research show that this kind of uh, clinical uh, research is effective. I asked uh, in 1980s, uh, the uh, Aricula uh, treatment is, is pop was popular. Uh, in treatment of myopia, and now she said it's uh, it is still used, but no clinical research has been published. No strong evidence showed it effective. Mm -hmm. Is there any published information on the use of auricular therapy in diabetes? Is there any published any published literature? No, Mm, uh, 
并不多见。现在我能看到的有关 ，for example， 的嗯 ，system review about database are not strong enough right now. Uh, the most three I can search, and uh, uh, my colleagues in this meeting can uh, search on the net would be the menstrual irregularities mm -hmm. and uh, addiction or uh, mental disease mm -hmm. disorder, like something like that. Yeah, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. um, and just a reminder that there's 130 million people in China with diabetes. Um, there's probably close to 450 million worldwide, and one third of them are in China, 130 million. And that's going to double over the next 20 years, 20 or 30 years. Um, so it'd be interesting to see these therapies and where would they fit in the treatment for diabetes. I think the auricular therapy could use in diabetes because <clears throat> that, uh, how can I say, may I speak in Chinese? Yeah, and then Gongming or Sanming can translate, or Benjamin. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. Auricular uh, therapy uh, research, uh, it shows, uh, how can I say, 它是穴位研究的一部分所以我们也在这方面在做一些研究就是应用肯定它是安全的 The safety could be uh, The most advantage is the safety Then we can We can have more research on the auricular therapies for diabetes That is safety for them Or if it is really effective 这也是我们需要去在临床进行进一步观察的Hong Ming, can you translate? Uh, in, uh, she said that the uh, auricular auricular therapy is a part of the acupoint research, and it is safe, so it's popular. And for diabetes, uh, uh, auricular therapy is only one part of it. Um, the other most important is for sports and for the daily life uh, customs. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So um, <clears throat> I think we're coming to the end of the session. And um... hey, can I ask a personal <laughs> question? I'm interested in. Uh, I, I just had a hearing loss, and for the last four months, I wonder whether and uh, um, this can be used and for improving the hearing. 我是我刚刚这个过去四个月我这个幼儿那个这个失聪了那个我在想这个这个针灸治疗有没有可能这个和睡的治疗来改进我的听力问题和和耳鸣的问题呃您您是一点听不到了还是耳鸣呢耳
，所以我的问这个哈，血的这个针灸有没有可能改善这个听力的问题和耳鸣的问题？嗯、呃，非常高兴跟您交流。我想说，从我个人经验看，耳穴是可以改善耳鸣的，因为我本身就是一个耳鸣的患者。我我是觉得可能每个人的经验不一样啊，然后我在用穴位的时候，就是我我的经验是耳后的穴位，我说几个您可能会知道，比如说一风、呃腕骨、风池、天柱，这样耳后的穴位其实是可以去用于那个耳鸣治疗的。远端取穴的话，像外观。还有中主这样的穴位，就是局部穴位、远端穴位，您都可以结合着去用。我相信在穴位的帮助下可以起效。那么我在应用的时候，因为这个附近的它穴位呢，解剖结构比较复杂，我建议您在针刺的时候呢，可以从浅刺开始，不要一次进针过深。那么什么时候停止呢？就是还是。针灸里边常提到的就是得气，那种胀痛感就可以，但是一定要浅，一定要慢，因为这个位置的血管很丰富，容易造成里边的血肿，一定要浅，一定要慢，很严重刺痛的时候就应该停针了。因为本人也用过，现在基本上就是上课啊或者生活不受影响，而且已经已经好改善了。那么也遇到过患者，也遇到过很多的。就是通过针刺改善的这一点，我觉得你可以相信针灸。Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. <笑> um, the, um, <笑>还是一两个人经验。There is a room to improve, and、uh, with the acupuncture, and I may、uh, seek help and from the acupuncture in Galway as well. So many thanks and the、uh, for the encouragement. And, Thank you for your、uh, question. I'm happy and to hear that you and the、uh, a patient and has improved and the、uh, tinnitus and condition as well. So thank you. Oh, I want to say one thing because we also know that there is a tinnitus. For example, uh, we use the ear ear, ear ear, ear ear, like like this ear ear, ear ear, ear ear, ear ear, ear ear, ear ear, ear ear. 在用的时候治疗耳鸣呢，其实我觉得没有耳后的穴位好，个人个人的感觉。耳前耳屏前的穴位呢，它用于耳中疼痛，类似于中耳炎的时候，它的效果是更更优选的。就是你在选穴的时候，多考虑耳后的，这是个人经验，只是个人经验。嗯、OK， Thank you。Thank you. Okay. Well, thanks, very, thanks very much. I, I don't think we need the、uh, consultation translated, but、uh, <laughs> that's as a、uh, you use the opportunity sending to get expert advice. So thank you. Yeah.、So、well done. Well done. Okay. So to everyone, thanks very much, and、um, thanks for tuning in again this time. And we'll see you again next time. And as as、um, as said on the chat, we do record and we put these on the YouTube channel as well. So. Thanks to everyone, and have a have a good day. Thank you. Bye. Thank you have a good day. Goodbye.、Yeah. Thank Thanks. Thank you for Thanks. both the speakers. Thank you. Absolutely.